welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our brand new stamp set, Year 8 and its coordinating dies. So let's go ahead and check it out. Here we have a cute little fortune cookie. We also have a fortune that says you will have a happy birthday. We have a fortune cookie that's been broken open and some little crumbs to go with that. And then we have two different styles of smiley face. I'm going to be using my Copic markers to color these images in. And the reason this set is called Year 8 is it's in celebration of Lon Fawn's 8th birthday. So we have stamp sets for all 8 of the years and they're always birthday themed and they're really, really fun. And this year we thought a fortune cookie would be really fun to go along with Year 8. I'm going to add a little warm gray to the fortune just to make it look a little more special than just leaving it white. And then here I'm going to have the coordinating dies which I can bend apart at the tabs or use my wire snips to separate them. You can take those dies and line them up with your stamps and hold them in place with some low tack tape. I'm going to run it through my die cut machine and then have these cute little die cut images. Here you can see how you can take that fortune and line it up with the full fortune cookie like that. Or you can also take the fortune and put it between the two two broken pieces of fortune cookie, which I think is a really, really cute look too. Next up, I'm going to be creating a card. And one of the really fun things about this set is that it can work with those little arms and legs from the Sweet Friend stamp set. So it's another dessert to add to those cute little desserts. So I've got that stamped out and then I'm going to create my own little background here on a stitched square. So I'm using some dough ink and I'm just stamping the different pieces from the set randomly around so that it looks like a really cool pattern paper. I'm making sure to stamp off of the edges to make it look kind of continuous. And then I'm filling any blank spaces in with those little cookie crumb pieces. Now I'm going to stamp my little smiley face onto my fortune cookie and then I'll add a little bit of tape runner to those little arms and legs from the Sweet Friends stamp set and layer that on top and now we've got a cute little standing fortune cookie. I'm adding a little tape to the back of the fortune cookie and I'm going to take that fortune and just hear that right there. And so you can see just how cute that's looking. Here I'm using our new speech bubbles die set. I've die cut the word smile and then a speech bubble. Then I'm going to take some liquid glue and put it all the way around the word smile and then put some white paper on there to back it behind it so that the smile is then white in this black speech bubble. And I think it's a really cool and really bold look. Here I'm trimming down some really rainbow paper to four by four inches square because my stitch rectangle is three and a half inches square. And so I'll be creating a four by four card base as well. Then I'm going to use some tape runner to adhere the pattern paper on there and I really love that bold red stripe. And then I'm going to add some foam squares to my little kind of custom pattern paper piece that I created with the fortune cookie stamps. Then I'll add some more foam squares to both the speech bubble and my cute little standing fortune cookie. And I'm just going to layer those right onto the card. And this is a recreation of a card by Anaya, and I think it is just so cute and it's really easy to do so you could make a ton of them all at once. Now speaking of easy to do, this is the ultimate last minute, I have five minutes to make a card kind of card. So I've cut a stitched rectangle from vanilla malt and then a zigzag rectangle from some chili pepper cardstock and I'm gonna layer those two together. Then I have my little fortune cookie there, I'll add some adhesive to the back and then put my fortune inside the cookie. Then I'm gonna add some foam squares to that cookie and layer that right on top. Then I'm going to be creating a card base that's three and three quarters by two and a half inches out of some black cardstock. So it's just, it's just a cute little mini card. And then all I'm going to do is add some foam squares to the back of that panel that we created earlier. And that's it. Super quick, super easy, but really, really adorable. And I really think it would make someone smile. And then here's a look at the two quick and easy cards that we made today using Year 8. And then we have some amazing samples from the design team too. So this card by Letitia is so cute. I love how she heat embossed the little fortune cookies on the back in some rose gold and heat embossing powder. Elise made an interactive card that is so much fun and when you pull here it reveals the fortune cookie message inside. So I just think that is absolutely adorable. Lynette took the fortune cookie and created her own custom pattern paper as well and then added her little fortune to the top and I love her coloring and shading that she did. And then here are the cards by Yainea that inspired me to make mine today. We have a super cute layout by Melissa where she's got the fortune cookies there with the birthday sushi, which I think is so much fun. And then Nicole had the same idea to combine it with our sushi stamps at Let's Roll and this is just adorable. I just love it so much. 
So I can't wait to see what you guys do with the Year 8 stamp set, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today, and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!